Hi there, this is Digital Marketing Legend, Srinidhi Ranganathan, the king of digital marketing. Today we are going to look at the complete guide to animation technology powered by artificial intelligence. This is kind of the world's first AI animation guide. Technology in animation is booming. But what does this mean for the future of animation production? The digital revolution is fast becoming the new norm in many aspects of life and business. Although technology may be speeding up the process, the quality of animation, in fact, remains unchanged. Do you know how Pixar is using a lot of animation software to boost their production pipeline? These are state-of-the-art software, mind ya. Interesting. In fact, very interesting. When we talk about Disney, which has also been a role with new ways to streamline their production. Lately, they've been using propriety software that can help them to set up lighting and textures that go faster than ever before using only a single interface. With such strides in animation technology, it's easy to see why this kind of industry will continue to thrive in the next decade. That's when the world of animation, in the world of animation, the artificial intelligence tech comes in. Now, when we talk about AI tech and animation, there are different software that have emerged where it can remove green screen autonomously without actually using a green, a green screen, by the way. Make it part of the was a tongue twister, but in fact, we can actually not even shoot with the green screen. There are technologies where you just shoot with any kind of background. Maybe you're standing and behind you there is a building and you shoot. And this kind of software is easily going to remove the background for you. Believe it or not. So not only green screen and chroma key we are talking about, there are lots of other futuristic technologies like advanced mocap software that's come up. Users can produce flawless animations that are both high quality as well as economically great in price. Now motion capture can happen just through a webcam or it can happen through different means, but really kind of advanced technologies that come up where Virtual humans like AI robot avatars can actually enact your performance. Even Microsoft is bringing up mesh, right? Bringing up mesh, kind of a new age technology where you can become a 3D character, believe it or not. You can produce a high quality animation, very simple, with just a character there, out there. And even the birth of VR, AR, MR, and even hyper realities on the way. Talking about virtual reality, the experiences are getting more increasingly popular as, as, as tech giants like Facebook, Sony, Google, Apple are entering the arena. And one can download a lot of apps for Google Daydream, Microsoft HoloLens, and also uh, what you call as um, even iPhones. A lot of AR experiences are happening, right? So that's also pretty cool. Now, these kind of futuristic technologies or coming up, who knows? Even laser holographic projection projection technologies may very much come up. Like even talking about more futuristic technologies, more ahead than that, supercomputers uh, that uses virtual, you know, say RAM and all the stuff, uh, something in the cloud um, where animation can be completely, you know, rendered, created in the cloud with maybe say. Uh, RAM that's more than 500 GB RAM and kind of a GPU that people will go mind blown about. All this stuff will happen. Now, the modern day computer or the kind of a supercomputer is much more complex due to the ability to process information exponentially. It's going to be really faster uh, on the market in the future. So, now uh, just going a further, you know, just looking at a animation from a further innovative futuristic perspective. You can start sculpting your own characters. There are lots of tips that I can give. You can look at AI tools for the rendering part, the lighting part. You can sign up for different courses. Uh, you can develop 
your own skills. You can find animation retreats and conferences nearby, live courses, live classroom sessions. You can look at who is organizing near your place. You can get a 3D software package and learn how to use it. You can watch tutorials and videos and learn stuff. So all this stuff will contribute to your learning, the skills that you can, you will be able to cultivate. Talking about more futuristic technologies, we never know what kind of, uh, you know, say future that uh, 3D animation and 2D animation will hold. But for the moment, I'll tell you, if you look at softwares like iClone or Beyond, V-Y-O-N-D, there are, there are, these kind of softwares are making huge, huge, they're taking huge strides in the market. Amazing softwares, mind-blowing softwares these are, okay? And there are softwares like Plotagon where you can just convert a text normal text script into 3D animation movies. These kind of um, technologies are definitely on the rise. If you look at Raw Shots, it's also pretty cool. Cool. Uh, Video Scribe is there. Video Scribe is a whiteboard animation creation tool. Render Forest is a great tool. Um, you can create animation in the cloud very quickly, very easily. You'll be able to, you know, do all this stuff. Like it, like, like it's, what do you call it? It's a magic. Uh, that's really, really cool out there. And you'll be able to definitely move ahead in the animation industry. Back then, while we used to take animation classes, uh, this was, I'm talking somewhere between um, the years of, say, 2005 to 2010. Those, those years, I think, AI technology was very in the emerging stage. It was like, kind of infancy stage in animation. But the future is all booming. AI technology is going to take over the world. Complete world is going to take over it by storm. Because AI is the future, guys. Simple as that. If you learn AI-powered animation, you're the one who's going to nail it. That means you're going to create a lot of videos very faster, quicker than the rest of the crowd who uses all the technology to go a little slow in terms of manually creating animation, which takes a a lot, a lot of time in order to make it work. So what do you want to pick? You want to pick the smart way of doing it or the hard way of doing it. You decide that, but typically see, if you want to create a 2D animation video, which takes a lot of time and you want to create it manually using a software that's on your PC with hardware requirements and all that, it'll take a lot of time. A lot of changes will come in for the client. Um, it will take like, a lot and a lot of time, uh, um, maybe say weeks or months together. But if you do it through artificial intelligence, cloud-based software, very fast, you'll be able to nail it. Look at Pictory, amazing software, P-I-C-T-O-R-Y. You can create a lot of, uh, you can convert a lot of text to videos there. What a software, amazing. InVideo, I-N-V-I-D-E-O, greatest software of all time. You can create again, text to videos there. Convert them. Lumen5, L-U-M-E-N-5. Greatest software again. You can convert text to videos. Stock footage. Everything is incorporated there. Canva, C-N-V-A. You can use a lot of stock footage, pictures that are in Canva to create a difference. Create a great difference uh, when it comes to showcasing your animation skills. People would say, okay, those are like just uh, basic softwares. No, it's not. You can create high-end animation. Believe me. Trust me. You can create really great high-end animations using those kind of software that would actually make people go berserk about. Like people would actually see those kind of animations from that particular software and go mind blown about, oh my God, this is the kind of animation I've never ever seen. And imagine how much time it will, it will have taken for you to create animation from those software very fast, very quickly, very extremely easily. You'll be able to very much uh, create that some people would still hide it. They'll not teach it to their colleagues or their friends, fearing that they would learn, they will excel in life. Go ahead and teach. Go ahead and tell your friends. That's not a problem. Knowledge is only like kind of a sharing purposes. Only see, I'm sharing a lot of knowledge. If I had done the same thing, imagine you not have actually got the knowledge, right? From me, simple as that. Anyway, so I hope you got an idea about artificial intelligence. AI for animation. Great. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this quick special video.